Hi, I'm Karen Staskin and I'm an architecture intern here with Dewberry for the summer located in our Fairfax, Virginia office. And today I'm going to explain a little bit about what interactive architecture is and how we use it in buildings today. So interaction between any two things refers to a back and forth exchange of information. And typically we think of this occurring between two living things, but with modern day digital technology, we are now able to manipulate the built world into responding to living organisms that then creates an open dialogue between the human body, surrounding environment, and even built forms. And this concept creates spaces that evolve and respond to changing needs on a day-to-day -day and even person-to-person -person basis. The opportunities for creating these moments in space are endless, and the designers have experimented with light simulations, mobile forms, and even environmental responses. So for example, light installations can be controlled by surrounding movements that turn lights on and off, dim or flicker, and even change color. And lights can be programmed to sense human presence and react depending on what action that person is doing. Some of these installations can be placed in open spaces or even embedded in walls or floors as a way to exaggerate that interactive experience. Forms can also be designed to move in response to human or environmental activity. Perhaps a wall expands and contracts when touched or even ripples as a breeze blows by. And some exterior facades have been designed to expose or shade a glazed envelope, which can increase building efficiency and lower energy usage. Among many things, interactive architecture has allowed for more collaboration between engineers, architects, artists, and even public, as some control of these installations are on a coded or open um, software system and can be manipulated by anyone. So like with anything in design, the opportunities are endless, and as modern day technology continues to advance, interactive architecture increases its response and impact on the human body, as well as the surrounding environmental characteristics.